Hey guys, I'd like to do a uh, lighting review of my 2016 Toyota Tundra Platinum. Um, I have installed the 2018 through 2019 Toyota Tundra OEM LED headlights also. So, so I'll show off my exterior lighting first. So here's my puddle lamps that I installed, they're LED. Really bright, as you can see. And my LED cargo lights. This gives you a good idea how bright they are. So I'll start the truck up and I'll show you the headlights. So here's the DRLs. I love these headlights. The DRLs look really good. So here's a shot of the Morimoto fog lights that I have with the DRLs. They're very bright also. You can see the parking lights here, very incandescent. And here's the headlights. Very bright, as you can see. And they utilize LEDs inside here, reflector housing. Turn the fog lights off real quick so you can see what they look like. Just the headlights. Very bright. Much better than the OEM halogens that were on the truck. Stop. Let me turn the high beams on for you. And then they're insane. Go ahead and turn the fog lights back on. I've done the anytime fog mod. So, as you can see, and the high beams are these little thing right here. Reflector LED also. And let me show you my light bar. There's my front light bar. It's a 30 inch behind the grill. From headlight revolution. Now let me show you my reverse backup lights that are underneath my bumper. A lot of people are requesting to see these. As you can see, they shine out really good. Here's a picture of them. So 
here we are inside the Toyota Tundra Platinum. As you can see, they've got internal light on here, so you can see. We have the two window switches lit up. The mirror switch right here does not light up. But you got your door on and off. And your headlight adjustment. I think that's pretty cool. So if you look out here, you turn this down, it'll actually lower the headlights. If you turn the dial up, it raises them substantially. So that's pretty cool. I don't know where other trucks, none of the big three trucks on the market have that feature that I know of. So it's pretty awesome when you're towing or uh, have the front of the truck up in the air with a heavy payload. So the other switches to eliminate are the cargo light switches, blind spot monitoring, which is in the mirror, on both mirrors. And this is the rear window switch right here. And there's that dial for the headlights. So this is what the cluster and the steering will look like lit up. You can see the radio controls here are lit up. The back button, mode, volume, and then your Bluetooth functions, and then the display button for the middle of the dash. The cruise control is not lit up. Down here we have the parking sensors button. It's lit up. Trash control, tow haul, and then your trailer brake controller is lit up. Moving to the center, we've got the four-wheel drive lit up. The climate control knobs are all lit up. The screen here is backlit. The radio. And then your park transmission column. For interior lighting, we have the two map lights and the dome light in the rear that light up. So on the home link mirror, we've got the three garage door programmable buttons, an on and off for the auto dimming function, and then your on and off for your compass. And then all of your vanities have lights too, both passenger and driver. There's also a footwell LED down here that illuminates your feet. Alright. The memory settings do not illuminate either, right here. Alright, let's go for a drive. Alright, let's go for a drive. starting to get a little daylight now but I think you can still see how good these headlights are going to illuminate on the video as you can see on this tree line I'll turn the uh, light bar on here it's really bright So there's your light bar, here's the high beams. Go this way. As you can see, it's hitting that sign way down the road on the high beams. And then here's the light bar, 
really lighten it up. Alright guys, it's getting a little daylight now, if I can't see much of the headlights anymore, so I'll conclude my video and I thank you all for joining me. Thank you.